When people hear the word corporation, they probably think of large companies such as Monsanto or McDonald's. But it's long before any of these companies in the 15th century that we find the origins of the business corporation and their special powers and privileges as extensions of the state. The word corporation derives from the Latin word corporare, which means to embody, that is, to manifest physically. It sounds somewhat magical. A corporation is an association of individuals, created by law, that persists beyond the existence of its original creators, and whose members enjoy privileges they do not have as individuals. These four principles of being a collective, created by law, that is to say force, that is persistent and bestows privileges, did not originate in the 15th century. The creation of a corporate entity is simply the invention of a glove puppet, behind which the true actors shield themselves from responsibility and accountability. It is no accident that corporations are creations of government, because government is the product of all four principles. Government is corporation. Governments derived from noble families, which corporate entity is known as the crown. The chief or kings of the noble families that represented the crown were originally the heads of the most ancient corporations, the churches. The origins of incorporation are therefore in religious superstition. Religions incorporated the will of their gods through religious decrees which constituted the laws of ancient societies. All these corporations are examples of legal fictions. Legal fictions are enforced ideological fantasies. The fantasies are now many and varied abstract concepts such as gods, ideas of race or nation, society and the will of the people. A common aspect of these ideological fantasies is the projection of personality onto an abstract concept. This magical thinking is known as the reification fallacy. Gods, nations, governments and society have no tangible existence. Only individuals have will. Only individuals have agency. In order for ideological fantasies to be anything other than beliefs, there must be enforcers to make people behave as if the fantasy were real. The enforcers are remarkably consistent throughout history. They are violent, they are sociopaths, and they deny their own agency. They pretend that words on a piece of paper, the expressed will of others, controls them, that they enforce the law, but that they do not make the law. The reality is that the enforcement of laws is the making of the laws. Without enforcement, laws are merely written or spoken intentions. We can only free ourselves from this ancient puppet of sociopathy when we reject the magical thinking of incorporation and see the puppet for what it is. And when men learn to reject the initiation of violence, when boys are cultivated in emotional wellness with compassion and respect for equality, then they can become men of peace. Thank you for listening. If you think you benefited from listening to this program, please share this program and these ideas and subscribe to my channel.